Hey everybody, it's meteorologist Ryan Hoke with a Hokey video blog update for this Saturday morning. A lot going on outside, not only with our events, but the rain and thunderstorm chances as well. We'll talk about that over the next several minutes. It's time for today's Hokey weather fact up first. The average lightning bolt from top to bottom, including all the nooks and crannies and crevices that it forms, is about three to four miles long. You can tell your friends you learned that on today's Hokey Weather Fact. Here's what we've got cooking for the weekend. Thunderstorms scattered by afternoon. It's not going to be a washout, but it will be during the overnight hours. Uh, we're going to see temperatures in the mid-70s as a warm front lifts through the area. Lower 70s tomorrow. We could hit 80 by Tuesday of next week. We're all looking forward to that. Clouds overhead now from our Kentucky One Health SkyTrack camera. Starting out with those temperatures in the 50s. Clouds are in the area. A few showers west of 65. Nice slug of showers moving into what looks to be Hart and Grayson counties, even southern Breckenridge at this time. And that's going to be with us through the morning hours. It's not going to be a washout for the morning. We'll have the scattered thunderstorms by the afternoon. Not even that will be a washout. Those will be periods of some rain and maybe rumbles of thunder. It's going to be this evening into the overnight when we start to see the real big chances of thunderstorms move in. That warm front just to our south now it builds in by the afternoon. That brings us that scattered thunderstorm chance and temperatures up to 75 here in the city. Area of low pressure over South Texas. It's been moving through really meandering very slowly as a cutoff low in Mexico and South Texas. That finally begins to weaken as it ejects northward. Here's a fun fact as these mid-level and upper level areas of low pressure actually move north there's a phenomenon called the beta effect that weakens them. It's all because of a thing called vorticity it's basically the circulation and the uh, disturbances in Earth's uh, midsection and upper levels of the atmosphere that uh, help to drive that. A lot of meteorology uh, 103 for you this morning because it's definitely not 101. But here we go with the forecast for today when it comes to our future cast. Wanted to share with you, of course, Road City Run. That's going to be happening this morning. Already underway here in about five minutes as of this recording. We're up to 61 degrees by the end of that. The St. Patrick's Parade happens as we head throughout this afternoon. Temperatures in the mid-70s as we start off, but we're going to have that scattered thunderstorm chance. I think that band of showers and maybe some rumbles of thunder lifting through the area with that warm front will be affecting us around the time that we start that parade. Here's what that looks like on Futurecast. It's way too liberal with the uh, showers this morning. This is the high-res rapid refresh model, but I think it has a good idea of what's going to happen this afternoon with that lifting northward of the warm front, the showers, the thunderstorms, the temperatures in the 70s, eventually fading back into the 60s as we head throughout the over overnight hours and then we zoom on to the rpm here for sunday morning and that's got likely showers and thunderstorms for the morning and we see more of a scattered summer-like feel to things as we go throughout the afternoon temperatures once again in the 70s here's that seven day breakdown I wanted to break down sunday's forecast in a little more detail for you because that's not only the day that we see more thunderstorms but the day that we spring forward it's the start of daylight saving time tonight before you head to bed You'll want to turn those clocks forward an hour. We're going to lose an hour of sleep tonight. Those of us that work the Sunday morning shift, not too happy about that, but that is the way the world works. Here's that future cast as we go throughout Sunday morning. You do see that shower and thunderstorm chance in the morning, and of course by the afternoon, not looking for as much in the way of showers and storms, more of a scattered situation. On Monday... You'll want to see this. We've got an area of low pressure moving through once again, and this is going to trigger showers and thunderstorms, mainly early and midday. By the afternoon and evening, they begin to clear out somewhat. Head out to the Hikes Point Kroger here in Louisville. That's uh, in the McMahon Plaza on Breckenridge Lane. We will be programming weather radios along with our partners at Midland Weather Radio from 5 to 7.30. Kevin Harden will be there broadcasting as well. You'll be sure to catch that. Tuesday's a big day for us. We've been planning this for... The better part of two months now. This is our Wave 3 News Weather Town Hall in collaboration with our partners, the News and Tribune in Southern Indiana. It's going to be at Indiana University Southeast. It's going to be on uh, off Charlestown Road there. Ogle Center is going to be where this is going to be. This is completely free. We're going to have partner tables there starting at 5 p.m. It's going to be kind of like a weather fair. Uh, we'll have about six or seven uh, organizations there, including the National Weather Service, the Salvation Army, Army, Midland Weather Radio, the American Red Cross, 811. The call before you dig, folks, they're going to be there. Uh, Kentucky One Health is also going to be there as well. These folks are going to have some freebies, some information, brochures, pamphlets, what have you. And uh, we will be starting our Q&A session at 7 p.m. That's going to be with our entire team on the stage at the Ogle Center. You'll be able to be there live and ask 
your questions. You can also ask them on Twitter during that time frame from 7 to about 8.30 uh, using the hashtag Wave3Weather, and those will be read to us live, and we can answer those live on our town hall. We're going to be broadcasting that live on Wave3.com via our live stream. If you've got the Wave3Weather app, that's great because you'll be able to get a live stream link pushed right to your phone as we start that. We'll be triggering that for you so you can watch that live on your phone. Free parking. Who doesn't love free parking, especially at a weather nerd event like this? So we're calling all weather nerds, geeks, dweebs, what have you. If you're interested in weather, you got to come to this. you got six meteorologists at your disposal to ask questions to. You don't get that very often around here. Uh, temperatures Tuesday afternoon, as this is starting out, are going to be around 80 degrees, if you can believe that. Uh, by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yeah, those temperatures take that backwards slide back into the 60s and eventually the 50s. I want to share with you real quick the earliest alert outlook, the only local 14-day forecast here in Metro Louisville. 40s for the 20th with that rain chance on the 19th. Pretty steady stretch of 50s, and I think we'll slowly claw our way back into the 60s as we start thinking about the start of April. And, of course, Easter is coming up there pretty soon as well. All right, that's it for now on the Hokie Video Blog. Enjoy the events this morning and this afternoon. Don't let the rain keep you away. Just keep the uh, poncho handy. And we will see you back here tomorrow on uh, Eastern Daylight Time on the Wave 3 News and the uh, Hokie Video Blog. We'll see you then.